Part of consumer law, or at least one section of it, has to do with debt collectors and their techniques in collecting debts. This is all governed under a federal statute known as the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Debt collectors are governed by the FDCPA. Debt collectors are people, not credit card companies, but either attorneys who are in the regular practice of collecting debts or debt purchasing companies. You have so a credit card with Citibank. Citibank is not considered a debt collector under the FDCPA, even though they might make efforts to contact you directly to collect the debt. However, if Citibank contracts ABC Collection Company or Smith & Smith or Dewey, Cheatham & Howe law firm and ask them to collect the debt, that law firm or that debt collection company is considered a debt collector under the FDCPA. Why is that important? The reason is, is that there are penalties for illegal or abusive debt collection uh, behavior and techniques that either the law firm or the debt collection agency may use in trying to collect the debt. So Citibank would not be liable under the federal statute uh, for their techniques, where, which may go over the lines of um, what is considered legal under the law, under the FDCPA, in trying to collect a debt. However, under many state statutes, the Citibank can be sued under that particular statute directly in state court. Now, the reason that a lot of lawyers do not sue the main credit card company or the primary credit card company in state court is because although state court statutes allow for the awarding of attorney's fees, a lot of the state court statutes um, do not make the attorney fee award mandatory. Whereas under the FDCPA, you have a fee shifting statute, which basically states that if upon successful completion of your claim against a debt collector, you are awarded attorney's fees. It is mandatory. Of course, the amount of the fees are discretionary with the court, but you get mandatory fees as opposed to state court.